Assalamualaikum. This is your brother Majid Mahmoud recording for daily reminder. Brothers and sisters, one time Fatima radiallahu anha she went to complain to her husband Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu an about how exhausting and tiring the housework has become on her. You know what? The family Ali and Fatima radiallahu anhuma was a very poor family actually. Unlike many other homes, they had no money to afford to have a servant or a maid to help out in the housework. So Fatima used to do everything. And you gotta appreciate that because there were no washing machines, no dishwashers, no vacuums, nothing. It was all physical work. So Ali ibn Talib on hearing this, he says, Yeah, Fatima, how about you get a servant? How can I get a servant? We don't have money for this stuff. He tells her, Ya Fatim, I have heard that your father Muhammad وسلم, just recently received some prisoners of war and why not you go and request from the, your father Muhammad وسلم, to give you one of those people to be a servant for us, why not? And this was one of the ways where you can deal with a prisoner of war. Fatima liked the idea, she never knew the Prophet has received such a group of prisoners of war and she wants now to go to the house of Rasulullah and she heads there right away, she knocks on the door, Aisha عنها, the wife of Muhammad وسلم, opens the door and they greet each other and Fatima asks, Ya Aisha, is my father there? And Aisha says, no he's not here. Then Fatima basically wants to tell her exactly what the request is like and she tells her, you know what, I heard my father has received some prisoners of war and I was hoping I can get one like to be like a servant for our family, that will be really nice. So Aisha says, you know what, the moment your father comes back, I will surely let him know of what your need is. Beautiful, Fatima goes back home. The Prophet وسلم, after some time comes back to his house and Aisha tells him exactly why Fatima came and the request, you know what, she's looking for a servant to help her out with all the housework. Rasulullah being an amazing father, he did not delay for two, three days. He says, you know what, I'm going to go right now to the house of Ali. Allahu Akbar. Rasulullah وسلم, heads to the house of Ali ibn Talib as he gets there, Ali and Fatima, they would like to stand up and greet the Prophet, the Prophet Sallallahu But the Prophet says, "Ala makanikuma," and this now virgin is in Sahih al-Bukhari. He says, "Ala makanikuma," stay the way you are, stay in your bed, no need to stand up, S relax. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahu Akbar, he comes and he sits on their bed in between Fatima and Ali radiAllahu anhu. And he tells them, هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمَا عَلَىٰ خَيْرٍ مِمَّا سَأَلْتُمَا Shall I not guide you of something that is better and more beneficial to both of you than whatever you have requested, i.e. having a servant? Whenever you're about to go to sleep, إِذَا أَوَيْتُمَا إِلَىٰ فِرَاشِكُمَا You shall say, فَسَبِّحَا ثَلَاثٍ وَثَلَثِينَ Say, subhanAllah, 33 times. وَحْمَدَا ثَلَاثٍ وَثَلَثِينَ Say, alhamdulillah, 33 times. وَكَبِّرَا and say Allahu Akbar 34 times. هذا خير لكم من خادم. Allahu Akbar. This is better for you than having a servant. Allahu Akbar, brothers and sisters. A prescription for Muhammad Sallallahu Before the invention of Red Bull and all these new energy drinks and all these new steroids that came up. No. Say Subhanallah 33 times. Alhamdulillah 33 times. Allahu Akbar 34 times. Before you sleep and Allah will boost you with physical energy that you're able to work inshallah the following day as if someone is supporting you, as if there's a servant helping you out. That's how much energy you will have bi'idhnillah. And some other understanding of this narration is that you will not feel as exhausted whenever you do the actual daily work that you're used to because of that dua which you've said the night before. Allahu Akbar. I dedicate this dua for all the brothers and sisters, every student, every mother, every father, and who here is not in need of energy to serve for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah reward you. Don't forget to share this video, share the energy with the brothers and sisters. Barakallah feekum, wa jazakum Allah wa khaira, wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.